is my final door system policy project. With nothing to lose, I decided I'm going to create a non-leader, no time space kind of kickstart program in order to help me take it to the next level. I feel that my journey, as well as the journey of the main character, are very similar. However, in this case, parallel opposites. Um, the main character in Love Death Travel actually has a crew who want to finish his journey. And in my reality, I'm looking for a documentary crew to help me take this to the next level, to be part of what I call the Doormat series. And the Doormat series is full of um, ideas and concepts in music, art, and of course behind the scenes to the trailer of uh, Love Death Travel, the creation and development and uh, packaging of uh, Love Death Travel. So it's a very powerful, impactful doc that will celebrate music, artist, and uh, everything in between. So if you're a documentary crew or you're a financial investor or uh, art, artist, musician, or whatever it may be, you want to be part of the second half. Um, I deeply appreciate any kind of help or any assistance in making this thing happen. Uh, if you want to know more about me, feel free to contact me or watch my um, complete series of Doors and Policy for more information about what I'm trying to complete and do and my journey and my story. So if you like what you see, feel free to contact me for more information and hopefully taking this to the next level. Thank you very much. I can see your face in my mind Hey Jim, how you doing man? Thanks for coming through, I really appreciate it. I was hoping maybe you can break something down for me, you know. The other day I was thinking about the dream where you gave me the poetry book entitled Promise. Now, I look back and I'm thinking about uh, how to interpret it. And I was thinking, well, I don't know if it was you giving me a promise that it's going to happen. Or you need me to promise to do my best to make it happen. Kind of. A, either way, I feel I've taken this project as far as I could by myself and with very little interest or a little bit of help wanting to get this thing going or oh, um, I feel it's time for me to just kind of uh, let it go for a while, to, you know, take a break, you know. I know, but you shouldn't. You, you know how difficult it is to break into the movie game. <laughs> man, you're telling me. This has definitely been my uh, school of hard knocks, I'll tell you that, man. But, but when I say give it a break, I don't mean for good. I just mean just right now, kind of just let it do its thing and kind of like see what happens in the future with it, you know, we'll see. That's good. Yeah, I mean, it gets a little frustrating. You know, I, I see the vision, I'm, I know what to do, and I'm doing it. And I'm doing it in the circumstances that are kind of difficult, but I'm still hanging in there, and yet I still can't get people of interest or uh, people invested in wanting to know more about the project, obviously for various reasons. Man. But, you know, there's one thing in this in this dream of autonomy that, that we're forgetting. is You know, it's one of the horrors, but also one of the great beauties, is that somehow coming from nothing and struggling and can and contending all those things somehow makes you more knowledgeable and more aware and stronger in a way. You know, if if there was a, a millionaire era said, okay, I'm gonna be the patroness of a band, and this band is gonna be, I'm gonna set them up in a mansion up in the mountains. They're gonna have everything they've always wanted, all with sports cars, with a select dope of the, the universe, you know. They're not gonna have any economic hassles, they're not gonna have to with any of these people, just make their music. You know what you get? A lot of shit, really. It's like playing every night for five dollars a man for two years, you know, and going through all that shit makes you more knowledgeable and more aware and stronger in a way. Man, Jim, I can always rely on you to break it down. Hey, listen, man, you're getting the benefit of my grand Irish wit all over the place.
I created and love death travel as a dedicated fan with a vision to honor the doors. I'm a self-taught creator with little or no experience in writing, directing, editing, producing, and performing. Uh, love death travel is the key element to both doors and symbolicity in my main project, Seeing Through the Mystic. Several years have been very heavy, dark times for me, and it began with the death of our child. And as time went on, we had another child that had a lot of health issues and concerns. And for the first year and a half, she was in and out of surgeries and the doctors and this and that. So my life drastically changed where I became a stay-at-home dad um, and maintained the house, cooked clean. Um, I had no real social outlet. I didn't really have any money coming in. And so for me, it was like the sense of desperation, the sense of urgency to create what I'm passionate about, all in hopes that someone, some stranger, will come across it and want to help see this vision through with the uniqueness and all that. So yet again, it was the presence of the doors that for me encouraged me to move forward, to heal, pick up the pieces on this journey of self-discovery. People are strange when you're a stranger. Faces look ugly when you're alone. Jim Morrison was once quoted by saying, a friend is someone who gives you total freedom to be yourself. And I find that a little ironic. Here I am paying tribute uh, in this offbeat, unorthodox style of fashion. And yet I feel like I'm isolated. Uh, friends and family and, and acquaintances more than bringing together to understand what I'm doing. And understandably, you, you you know, when you're creating something that's real and you're passionate about and no one can understand it, get it, or even care for that matter, um, it causes all different kinds of emotions, both positive and negative. It's not just friends and family and acquaintances that have denied me, man. I've been denied by, you know, production crew, producers, directors, musicians, websites that are dedicated to the doors. Some people that are kind of associated with the doors. I've been denied local film contests. Two newspapers denied me. Um, all those videos that I sent out, about 15 of them, no one responded back to them. And even the doors message board, people don't say anything or know how to respond to it. Um, so part of me understands. I mean, I get it. I mean, like, who's this guy coming out of left field creating this solo experimental project uh, talking about honoring and visions and dreams dedicated to Jim Morrison? I think one of my greatest strengths is not caring about being denied. I think it actually builds character and confidence. Plus, it weeds out folks that are interested that it opens the light for people that, that are interested in helping out. Speaking of people that are interested, I have to give a shout out to people who have encouraged me, who believed in me, who have given me their art and their music and advice. Um, for those who've actually believed in the underdog story, I'm deeply grateful for that kind of love and I will give back the best way I possibly can because of those people. However, when there's more people not on board than there are on board, you just kinda have to move forward. Metaphorically speaking, it's like being very hungry and you come across a fruit tree and you're ready to enjoy and take a big bite out of that and you realize that the fruit's not ripe. So you move on and while you move on, you, you build a road because when that fruit is ready, You've already built a path to enjoy the fruits of your own labor. Almost anybody can get one chance these days to make some kind of film. 